2016 was likely one of the warmest years in the temperature record of the instrumental period, which is since about 1850. But by the end of 2016, global air temperatures were essentially back to where they were before the recent 2015-16 El Nino, although there are small differences between individual temperature records. It shows that the global 2015-16 surface temperature peak was caused mainly by the El Nino. It also suggests that what has been termed the temperature hiatus may endure after the recent El Nino episode. The 2015-16 El Nino is among the strongest since the beginning of the record in about 1950, and recent variations of El Nino and La Nina episodes do not appear to deviate from the previous pattern. There appears to be a systematic difference developing between global air temperatures estimated by surface stations and by satellites, especially since 2003. Surface station measurements have consistently drifted away from the satellite-based data and are now about 0.1 degrees centigrade higher. Temperature variations in the lower troposphere are generally reflected at higher altitudes, and the overall temperature pause is recorded at all altitudes, including the troposphere and into the stratosphere. In the stratosphere, however, the temperature pause began around 1995, that is five to seven years before a similar pause began in the lower troposphere. Much of the heat given off during the El Nino appears to have been transported to the polar regions, especially the Arctic, causing severe weather phenomenon and unseasonably high air temperatures. This heat may have been radiated into space as latitudes north of 70 degrees have been characterised by above-normal, outgoing long-wave radiation during the Northern Hemisphere autumn and the early winter of 2016. Since 2004, when the Argo Ocean Monitoring Buoys came into operation, the global oceans above 1,900 metres in depth have on average warmed somewhat. The maximum warming from the surface to about 120 metres affects the oceans near the equator, and surface warming is absent or small at higher latitudes in both hemispheres. The maximum ocean surface warming has taken place at latitudes where the incoming solar radiation is at its annual maximum, and net cooling since 2004 is pronounced for the North Atlantic. Data from tide gauges all over the world suggest an average global sea level rise of 1 to 1.5 millimetres a year, while the satellite-derived record shows a rise of more than 3 millimetres a year. This noticeable difference between the two datasets still has no broadly accepted explanation. Arctic and Antarctic sea ice extents since 1979 have developed in opposite directions, decreasing and increasing respectively. Shorter variations are also important. In the Arctic, a 5.3-year periodic variation is important, while for the Antarctic, a cycle of about 4.5 years is seen. Both these variations reached their minima simultaneously in 2016, which explains the recent global minima in global sea ice extent. This is the state of the climate in 2016.